<laughs> We're in the kitchen this morning with Giant Eagle. Chef Kenneth Hunt is here this morning. Yes, he is. And he's making, believe it or not, this is a coffee and maple marinated flank steak. Yes, so, it is. Aren't Delicious. you crazy creative? Yes. <laughs> uh -huh, and he's here today with Giant Eagle to show us how to do it ourselves. Good All right, so where do we begin? Well, obviously, you're going to begin with the coffee. What we okay. are going to use today is actually an Italian roast. Okay. Um, we're see. doing a double batch of the like marinade. Coffee. So it's going to be about three cups of the coffee. Okay, there we go. Coffee, yep. wow. We're going to do about half a cup of balsamic vinaigrette. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh. You're going okay. to be doing about half a cup of the uh, pure maple syrup. This uh, is pure maple syrup. Yum. Yes. Don't do the flavored uh, corn syrup. It just doesn't come out the same. Okay, okay. all right. And we're going to add stone ground mustard, stone about half a cup. Mm. There's that. Let me use this. This is quite yeah. a concoction. Yes. Okay, so we've got some mustard in there now. Yep. Uh, olive oil and about olive a oil. quarter of a cup. Quarter of a cup of that. And how much there meat is this supposed to marinate? Uh, this can marinate about two and a quarter pounds. Okay. And then this looks like a lot of garlic. Yes, you're. Uh, you want the garlic because it'll bring out a lot more of the flavor. Okay. In place of the salt. And get rid of a lot of your friends. Yes. Get even better. <laughs> Make sure that whoever you're planning to kiss later yes. is also having some of this. And that yes. is. That is actually a applewood smoked sea salt. Oh. You can get it in bulk. It is fantastic. Wow, it smells mm. great. And you don't need wow, all of that. that. Yeah, I'm smelling it. Mm -hmm. Isn't that amazing? Oh my gosh. So do you use all of that? No. Uh, no, just a few pinches. Just a few pinches. So yep. there we go for that. Yep. And then mix, mix it on mix, up. Mix, 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 mix. Yes. And then how long will you need to, because you're going to put the, the steak in here. Yes, we're going to be putting that steak. That's about two and a quarter pounds of uh, flank steak. Uh-huh. Um, it should sit for about eight hours. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, so just put that in the fridge and leave it. Yes, exactly. Okay. Uh, there is actually a really nice thing about flank steak is you can do it a whole bunch of different ways. Uh, you can grill it, you can slice it thin and stir fry it, you can cook at it for a long period of time and pull it uh, oh, so for sandwiches. Like pull, sure. Yes, and it's fantastic. What is it? Why do I think that flank steak is a tougher meat? Uh, it usually is. Okay. That's why you tend to marinate it. It'll uh -huh. break down a lot of the muscle inside of it. It becomes okay. a lot more tender. Okay. And what's the key to the coffee being a part of this? Uh, the coffee actually acts as a flavor enhancer, very similar to salt. Okay. So hmm. when you put it in there, all of the flavors that you get in a coffee, because you know you can have Kona, you can have. Uh, um, the Italian roast, you right. can have Kenyan, whatever you want will actually absorb into the meat hmm. just like any salt or other flavorings. So you put even in there. if you're not so, a coffee fan, you'll still like yes. the marinade? Yes. After eight okay. hours here, we go there. Yes, so that is what the uh, steak should look like after it's marinated yes. for a little bit. Uh, it'll have a nice little brown patina to it. That's where all of the coffee and flavors have absorbed into it. Mm -hmm. So if you want, you yes. can put that on the pan. What on the pan? The steak. Put the steak on the pan. Dump it in. That in yep. There. Not all of the juice if you don't want to, but. There. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, how do I get this bad boy out of here? There you go. Okay. Look now, that. what we're going to do for this actually is broil it. Oh, nice. Oh. So you just set your oven to broil. We have it set over here, all ready and to go. How long will that be in there? It'll actually only take about six <laughs> minutes on each side. Okay. All right. Is it done? So there's the finished product. Lovely. Mm -hmm. And then we cut into that. Yes, it'll have a nice. Burnt crispy edge, yes. nice and brown color, and it's just fantastic. Where'd you I put the knife? Love it. Over here. Let me see that. Mm -hmm. There we go. And how how many people can serve two and a half pounds of meat? Do you think two and a half pounds of meat are probably going to serve three to four people? Okay. You get this nice pink color right in there. That's very nice. Can you so cut us a about little a, about a medium we have to try there? That. Yes, this is about medium. I trust okay. you. Six minutes on each side. There All you right, go. There we go. Get a nice medium well done, or medium well steak. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You do you get some of the garlic coming through that. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Thank now, you once so much. You, once you've got this going, you you've paired this with this. What is this? Some some uh, asparagus. that is a stir asparagus. fry and grilled sesame asparagus. Okay. Um, you just got some grilled veggies with your sandwich. You got a nice little salad with your uh, steak, and since it's uh, coffee made. If you want a little sweet, we have apple cake and banana Even nut muffins. Better. So is this when you're doing the pulled version, mm -hmm. you put that in a crock pot for a few hours? Uh, you can put it in a crock pot. You can put it on simmer in a pan with some of the uh, marinade in with it. Just takes about three, four hours. Nice. Who knew you were so versatile, little flank steak? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're so nice. <laughs> All right. For the full recipe, go to myfox28columbus.com. Click on Good Day Columbus, then Giant Eagle. Thanks.